Hello everyone. In this video, let's continue weighted distribution. Here we have, we saw that we have two operators like one is uh, colon equal to colon forward slash. Let, let's equal to, let's look at colon equal to. The colon equal to operator specifies that weight is same for every specified value in the range. What does that mean is, if a, uh, let's take an example where variable v1 have a distribution of for value 0, has distributed uh, let's suppose the value v1 the variable v1 can take values from 0 to 3 and i have take given the value of weight uh, the weightage for the value 0 is 70 and the weightage for value from 1 down to 3 is 10 how the how this can be written as like uh, the above constraint can be written as like this like the value of weight of 0 will be 70 whereas 1 is 10 and 2 is 10 3 is 10 what does this mean like if you represent like this for 1 down to 1 2 3 for the range 1 2 3 the and if i use colon equal to how it looks like for all these values in this range guess the weightage what has been mentioned at the end in this here the weightage mentioned is 10 so this looks like all the values value 1 gets the weightage of 10 value 2 gets the weightage of 2 10 and value 3 gets the weightage of 10. So similarly, uh, if I uh, so what uh, what does this mean is like let's uh, add up to 70 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. This will add up to 100. Okay. Now the weightage of Z. If I want to see the weightage of zero, what what I need to do is like I need to do 70 divided by 100, like 0.7. What is 0.7 is a probability of getting the value zero uh, for V1 and weight of uh, one or two or three is 10 divided by 100 which is 0.1 the probability of getting the value of 1 or 2 or 3 is 0.1 let's look at the other operator the other operator is colon forward slash let's look at the definition operator specifies that the weight is equally divided between all the values here if uh, for the same example if i take the weight of the value 0 colon forward slash 70 comma 1 in the, for the range 1, 2, 3, I have given colon forward slash 30. How this can be converted as like 0 for the value 0, it is 70. It is it remains same. But here for the value 1, 2, 3, for 1, it will be weightage of 10. How this will be done is like 30 will be divided by 3. What is this 3? Is like the number of values in the range are 3. So 30, the weight can be need to be divided by 3, which is 10. So each value get the weightage of 10. In this case, you see the value 1 get the weightage of 10 and value 2 get the weightage of 3, value 3 we get the weightage of 3. This is how this constraint can be written, really expanded like this. Now, if you see like if I add up 70 plus 10 plus 10, add up to again 100 now weightage of 0 in this case also you will see the weightage and the probability is 0 0.7 for value 0 and probability of getting the value 1 2 3 or 0.1 let's look at an example here in this example i have taken same values like value v1 and v2 whereas data type is logic 1 down to 0 and modifier rand i have written the constant same as i explained in the explained in the uh, ppt explained in the slides where v1 is like a weightage of uh, value for weightage for the value 0 is 70 1 down to 1 2 3 the range 1 2 3 is 10 this is how it is look like and the now for v2 this is how i wrote as i mentioned earlier now if i run and see right These are the values I got. As you saw earlier, right, for both the cases, the probability of getting value of 0 is 0.7 and the probability of getting value 1 or 2 or 3 uh, is 0.1. For both the cases, that's how it is. Let's see how the tool is working. Okay, for the value V1, I have the probability of like uh, by getting value 0 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 times I got, which is exactly the same. Uh, and value 1, I didn't say value 1, that's okay, like you see, that's, all, that's what I am saying, this this represents the probability, it is not an exact value, the, sometimes you it may, it may not matter, that's okay. Probability of getting value 1 for the uh, V1 is not, it is not uh, there here, probability of getting value 2 is, you see, 2 times it got, and probability of getting value 3 is once, which is good. 
for value v2 the probability of getting the value uh, 0 is 1 2 3 4 actually is expected is 7 times but it is z seven, 4 times that's okay uh, it depends on the tool also like it is like uh, you cannot uh, say that uh, one is working better another is one not working better basically you should understand this um, for when you give a range and you give the weightage to the range you should see the difference between these two behaviors of the these two operators when you use this operator the weight will be equally distributed across the range whereas when you give this operator the weight will be distributed by distributed as weight divided by number of values in this range that's the main difference this is like uh, you may see some differences because that depends on the tool also so it not necessarily it depends on it's not about the operator okay hope you understand this question